Hey, good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight at 5. First off, longtime MATA riders are fed up with long wait times and poor conditions on buses and at bus stops. Tonight, they want answers. The Transit Authority promising significant upgrades from a multi-million dollar federal grant. Jay Shakur joins us live from the MATA bus terminal in downtown Memphis. Jay, now a large portion of the Shelby County population depends on MATA to get where they need to go. Rudy Pepper, MATA travels about 5 million passengers, has 5 million passenger rides within a year, traveling across 280 square miles within a year. And one rider I spoke to today says, despite the promise of new bus routes and new buses, her wait time has doubled. This is a very important bus system for people. So my thing is, make sure that ridership comes first. People have to be at work early in the morning. So at 7 o'clock, if the bus don't show up to 7.30, that means people are late. For Cynthia Bailey and thousands of other riders each day, MATA is their critical lifeline to get from point A to point B. Bailey, who relied on MATA for three decades, says reliability is at an all-time low. This is the worst that I ever experienced. I'm not sure is it because of the management team or it's just the schedule and route planning. Other MATA riders agreed, outlining what they view as poor communication with drivers and constantly delayed routes. One time I sit on the bus stop for an hour and 45 minutes, taking my daughter to school, and the bus be late, my daughter get tired. Though MATA improved its digital communication in recent years, Ryder said that's also not always reliable. That's convenient, unless you don't have access to, to that type of technology, or you don't know how to use that technology. And when you call in on an automated system, it doesn't work. It's been, it, it's, it's been down for oh, over a year. In August of 2022, MATA announced four grants from the Department of Transportation, totaling nearly $140 million. $54 million was said to be for new operations and maintenance facilities, $22 million for new clean electric buses, and about $64 million to connect routes from downtown to the medical district and the University of Memphis area. But Bailey says nearly eight months later, she sees no meaningful change. Where is the money at? We don't see where the money going. They say they received the money, and we did have community meetings about it, but now everybody's in puzzle, like, how is the money really spinning? Now, we reached out to MATA. Its CEO sent a statement which said, in part, to date, MATA has only received a portion of FTA grant funds. We continue to make rider experience and innovation a priority. MATA also says they plan to roll out their electric buses this coming spring. In downtown Memphis, I'm Jay Shakur.